Recently, Iran discovered a huge copper mine with a reserve of more than 3 billion tons in the country. This news has attracted the attention of global mining giants. Surprisingly, Iran has publicly called for cooperation with China, rather than a powerful country such as Chile, a move that has aroused widespread concern and curiosity. As we all know, the United States is one of the countries with the largest mining industry in the world, with strong resource reserves and technical strength. Therefore, people have speculated why Iran would give up cooperation with the United States and choose to cooperate with China instead. Welcome to Word Answer, where you will be able to learn about projects, cooperation around the world and important information about China. Subscribe to us and discover more interesting events around the world. Iran is located in West Asia and is a country in the Middle East. This country is not only adjacent to many countries, but also connected to the Caspian Sea, the Persian Gulf and the Gulf of Oman, and its geographical location is very advantageous. However, Iran's natural environment is quite harsh. More than 90% of the territory is plateau mountains, with an altitude between 900 meters and 1,500 meters, and only a small number of narrow and long plains are distributed along the coastal edges on the north and south sides. In addition, Iran also has deserts such as LUT and Kavir, which account for a quarter of the country's area. Iran's climate is arid, with only 100 mm of precipitation in some areas and severe water shortages in most areas. More importantly, Iran has relatively few rivers, the longest of which is the Karan River, which is 850 km long and is the only navigable river in the country. Although Iran's natural conditions are not conducive to economic development, the country's rich mineral resources have attracted the attention of global mining giants. It is understood that Iran has as many as 68 types of proven minerals, with a total reserve of more than 38 billion tons, of which zinc reserves are as high as 230 million tons, ranking first in the world. Recently, Iran announced the discovery of a giant copper mine with a reserve of more than 3 billion tons in its territory. This news has attracted the attention of many mining powers. According to the latest survey results, many countries have put forward very attractive conditions in order to cooperate with Iran. For example, Chile proposed a share ratio as high as 20%, much higher than the general ratio of 4 to 6, which shows that Chile is very eager to cooperate with Iran. And Russia decided to help Iran develop its mining industry, which is also a very good opportunity for Iran's economic development. The United States gave up the mining share and is willing to pay a 5% premium, hoping that Iran will sell all the mined copper mines to the United States. However, what is surprising is that Iran finally chose to cooperate with China, and China only made a normal offer. This makes people very curious, why did Iran give up these superior conditions and choose to cooperate with China instead? Chile is one of the world's largest copper producers, but in recent years the Chilean copper industry has faced its biggest institutional challenge since its rise 30 years ago. It is worth noting that in the Chilean copper mining industry, the two largest mining companies account for more than 75% of the total copper resources, while the remaining mining companies can only share the remaining less than 25% of the resources. This unequal split could disproportionately benefit countries that cooperate with Chile, which in turn could affect copper mining in Iran. For example, in some countries in Africa, foreign mining companies have access to abundant mineral resources, but local governments and people rarely benefit from them. This unfair distribution method will not only make people feel dissatisfied, but may also lead to social unrest and political instability. Second, Russia has been at war for more than a year. Before this whirlpool of war is completely resolved, cooperation with Russia will face hostility and pressure from Western countries. Such pressure will not only affect the economic interests of both partners, but may also lead to political disputes and instability. As a country that has just emerged from the war, 
Iran only wants to develop itself, and does not want to be involved in the planning and disputes between countries. In addition, Iran and Russia have differences on some key issues. For example, on the Syrian issue, the positions of Iran and Russia are not completely consistent. Therefore, Iran will naturally not choose to cooperate with Russia. When looking for a partner in Iran, the United States is indeed a very attractive option. The United States has the most developed economic system and technological level in the world, and cooperation with it can bring huge economic benefits and scientific and technological progress to Iran. However, US sanctions against Iran have been in place for years. Due to the restriction of sanctions, Iran's international trade and financial system has been seriously affected, resulting in a sharp decline in Iran's international status and strength. In addition, the United States has put pressure on other countries to force them to change the terms of cooperation. For example, when the United States was cooperating with Qatar, it forced Qatar to stop its natural gas cooperation with Iran, which led to a sharp drop in Iran's natural gas exports. In addition, the United States has put pressure on China, India and other countries to restrict their trade and cooperation with Iran, further weakening Iran's strength and influence. Considering these factors, Iran may not easily choose to cooperate with the United States. In recent years, China has been the largest destination for Iranian minerals and mineral products exports. During the period from March 2022 to March 2023, Iran's total mineral exports reached 48.69 million tons, with a total value of 12.24 billion US dollars. Among them, Iran's mineral exports to China exceeded 10.94 million tons, with a total value of 2.9 billion US dollars, accounting for 22.5% and 23.7% of Iran's total mineral exports last year. These data show that the cooperation between China and Iran in the field of minerals is very close. In addition to export cooperation, China and Iran also have extensive cooperation in production and technology in the field of minerals. China has rich mineral resources and advanced technology, while Iran has vast mineral reserves and geographical advantages. The cooperation between the two sides on this basis will be more strategic and long-term. At the same time, China and Iran are also constantly exploring new ways and fields of cooperation such as cooperation in new energy and environmental protection. These cooperation will bring more opportunities and challenges for the future development of the two countries. More importantly, Iran has cooperated with China in many fields such as politics, culture, and military affairs. For example, on the issue of the United Nations, both Iran and China are opposed to US unilateralism and hegemony. In the field of culture, the two countries have also actively carried out cultural exchange activities, which has enhanced the understanding and friendship between the two peoples. In addition, in the military field, the two countries have also launched a series of cooperation, such as joint military exercises and technical exchanges, which have brought new development opportunities for the cooperation between the two countries. Therefore, from many perspectives, cooperation with China is a natural choice for Iran.